Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Line Art 84 So um, if you happen to see my mail call video I did two or three days ago, you'll see that I received from seeds from, um, from uh, America for a strawberry tree. That's Mantingia calibura, not Arbutus anado. And they came sort of inside, as it were, a dried fruit. And I think you can probably see there that the seeds are almost microscopic. Now, that's not the black bits. That's the remains of the dried fruit. Those little tiny little specks you can just about barely see. I don't know if I can point them out with a stick. The, these little sort of pale specks, you can see from this wooden cocktail stick just how small they are. They are absolutely tiny. Now I think they like to be sown on the surface of soil, but given the size, it's easier said than done. So what I've decided to do is going to try two methods of sowing them. I'm going to put some of them, I don't know how I'm going to move, transfer them as they're so small. I'm going to try and put some of them on the surface of pure cocoa coir, or coir. And I'm going to sew some of them onto damp tissue, which I used very successfully as a method with um, with the dragon fruits. But this isn't damp tissue in a box. This is damp tissue on the surface of more cocoa coir, coir or coir. So what I'm hoping is going to happen is what happened with the dragon fruits is once the seeds germinate, if they do. The roots actually find their way through the damp tissue, which obviously disintegrates over a short period of time, and then root down into the compost. But the advantage I can see of putting them on the tissue is it'll be a little bit easier for me to see myself putting the roots down, oh, sorry, putting the seeds down on the tissue. I'd better see it a little bit easier where I've put them. And also I might better see it a little bit easier when they germinate, but they stay on the surface because apparently they need light to germinate as well as warmth. It's not really the right time of year to be doing them as it's obviously we've now got very low light levels and I don't have anything like a fancy grow lamp. But that's my plan. So I'm going to get on with that in a minute and see if I can get the seeds onto the surface in reasonable numbers, not too close together, <clears throat> in the hope that they'll uh, in the hope that they'll germinate at some time or other. Could be a failed experiment before it starts, but I think this is the best way to try and do it. So I will obviously keep you updated in the future, depending on how... Uh, let's make it a little bit lighter there. You can see it a little bit better now, I think. You can probably see me a little bit better now. Anyway, that's the plan. So that's for the Muntingia seeds, Muntingia color. Calibura, which is a strawberry tree, it is a tropical tree, it's supposed to be very fast growing, but it's very hard to germinate the seeds because they're very prone to damping off. This is These seeds are from the red fruit, I've got a yellow one as well to try seeds off, but I might, get, might try that next week, we'll see what happens. Anyway, thanks for watching the video everybody, um, please remember to give me a thumbs up, uh, by all means uh, share the video with anyone you think might be interested please subscribe to my channel and please remember to click on the bell and you'll get updates including whether or not I have any luck with these seeds I'll catch up with you all soon Brett out for now